What is next for Shannon Sharp? Let's talk about it because I believe this is the question that is on everyone's mind ever since uh, Shannon Sharp announced that he was leaving Undisputed. We all saw that farewell that was pretty emotional. Uh, Skip Bayless is out there on this show pretty much venting, talking about he can't sleep ever since Shannon uh, left. And uh, we haven't seen an episode of Undisputed since then. So, But I'm more interested about the Shannon Sharp side because uh, we, I believe Skip Bayless will, will just stay on Undisputed. The only question is what, who will be the host and will the show be good? Or how will it live up against uh, the previous version of Undisputed? But when it comes to Shannon Sharp, I really don't know what he has planned next. I was on Instagram yesterday and I came across this post from Shannon Sharp. And uh, let's read the caption. He says... I'm enjoying my early morning workouts, late break first, and break from wearing a suit every morning. But just for a little while, I will be back on TV in the morning soon. So this is interesting because this post gives us a few information. The first one, the confirmation that he is not stepping away from the sports media or media overall. So that comes as no surprise, but he did specify on TV and in the morning. Meaning that, uh, in my opinion, I thought that uh, the best way to go for Shannon Sharp was to just take Club Shay Shay to a, a whole nother level, stay in the podcast type of a, for a platform type of content, and just make it his own show. Uh, not only gay space, but even sometimes just coming in and just kicking it. Talking about whatever, whenever, whoever, because I believe Shannon Sharp is entertaining enough to talk about anything else and draw uh, a large crowd just of the fact that he's funny and he's pretty likable. So I thought that was the best move for Shannon Sharp. So maybe he will do that with Club Shay Shay. Maybe Club Shay Shay stay as is. I do not know. Um, but what he says is that he will be on TV. And when it comes to sports on TV, it's either ESPN or FS1. And since he's been bought out from FS1, he's not going to join another show on FS1. So now the question is, what show will he be on uh, ESPN? The most obvious answer would be first take, uh, especially with Stephen A. Smith pretty much uh, recruiting him on live TV. Uh, not on live TV, but on his podcast. We all saw that. But again, man, I think Shannon Sharp outgrew uh, just being a co-host, especially with the role that Stephen A. Smith has for him. Uh, him being a light or one of the rotating guests and coming to talk just about football. I think at this point, it's kind of putting Shannon Sharp in the cage. So if he does that and keeps uh, doing a club Shay Shay, it will be good. But I think he would be selling himself short. He needs his own show or he needs to, at the very least, be a full-time co-host just like he was on Undisputed. So maybe ESPN is recruiting Shannon Sharp just like they did Pat McAfee. And I think they have other big recruits like they did some rumors that they may get Colin Coward, so maybe they have the same move for Shannon Sharp and they plan on either, you know, pairing Shannon Sharp with one of these two gentlemen or giving Shannon Sharp his own show. Because on ESPN, uh, obviously we have First Take, but it's a few shows that, in my opinion, are lacking when it comes to quality. The main one, in my opinion, being, uh, being um, uh, Keyshawn, Keyshawn, J and Max, I think this is the worst show on ESPN when it comes to sports. Um... Not because these guys are bad, but it's just not really entertaining. And when it comes to actual facts and analysis, Max Kellerman is the only one that really brings that. Keishan is great at talking football, but his basketball talk is lackluster at best. And Jay Williams is nice, but maybe it's just me, but I don't, I've never been a huge fan of his analysis. So maybe he comes in and replaces them. Maybe they just uh, add him to a cast and make him a, a co-host. I do not know. Um, again, if he does not do that, and if he's, he steps down for the position of a co-host, he would just set himself short. Or maybe he goes out there and he stays there for like a year just for the time, you know, to him to pre for him to prepare his next move. And then he goes on to the next chapter of his life. I don't know. So, yeah. Anyways, we're going to keep this video short, man. Uh, get in the comment section and give me your thoughts about what next for Shannon Sharp. What would you like for Shannon Sharp to do? And what would be the best fit for Shannon Sharp on TV in the morning? Appreciate you guys for checking me out. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.